I live in a bustling town, always busy with people rushing around. The town center is the heart of all activities, with the market, the church, and the movie theater. As I walk through the streets I pass by the circus that has come to town, its colorful tents erected in the sports ground. At the crossroads, I see the bus stop where the local commuters gather every morning for their journey to the industrial estate. The housing estate nearby is a mix of pleasant homes and a few derelict buildings, where a few bums and beggars find shelter. I make my way towards the public garden, a small oasis amidst the concrete jungle. The green spaces here are a welcome relief from the grimy streets. A group of children plays in the playground while their parents chat on the benches. Walking further, I reach the town hall, a grand building completed just last year. Next to it is the registry office, where couples come to tie the knot. A road sign points towards the cemetery, a peaceful place among the hustle and bustle of city life. The town's property market is booming, with new apartments being built in the housing scheme on the outskirts. Commuter trains rush through the station, packed with people heading to work in the city. I decide to take a break and stop at the bed and breakfast near the cathedral. The facilities are basic but clean, and the owner tells me stories about the town's history. Later, I wander through the shopping precinct, crowded with shoppers. I queue at the department store to collect a package, surrounded by bustling city dwellers. The traffic lights at the corner shop are constantly changing, and the noise of the cars is deafening. As I walk back home I pass by the homeless shelter where volunteers work tirelessly to help those in need. The city may be relentless, suffocating at times, but there is a sense of community here. In the evening I attend an exhibition at the art gallery, where the city's artists display their work. The concert hall is hosting a performance, and the opera house is lit up beautifully. Finally, I reach my quiet residential area, away from the congestion of the town center. I sit on a bench in the park, listening to the sounds of the city fade away. Despite its flaws, this town is my home, and I wouldn't have it any other way.